Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the process of encrypting a flash drive or SD card on a Mac using Disk Utility. I'll put a link in the description to that video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to decrypt an APFS encrypted drive. And using this process, you won't have to remove the information from the drive. So this does require the command line, and I'll put a link in the description of my website where you can find these commands I'm going to type out. So what I have over here, this drive called Secure Drive, and I wouldn't name your drives like Secure Drive if it's a secure drive. You probably want to give it a name like Family Photos or something, so it's not obvious to people that you have confidential information on it. So if I look at the get info for this drive, we see it's an APFS case-sensitive encrypted drive. So if I open it up, I have a script in here. So we're gonna go over a command line process to convert this from encrypted to unencrypted. And while it is supposed to retain the data, there's always the possibility that it wipes out the drive or screws something up. And that's just general computing rules, is that if this is super important, you should probably have a backup of it. You should probably have had a backup from the beginning. But if you're gonna do this modification and you have things on here that you don't want to lose, it's probably a good idea to back it up before you do this. So I've opened up a terminal. And if you're new to terminal, you want to go into your applications folder and then utilities, and you can find the terminal app in there. I usually just hit command space and then type in terminal, and that will open up your terminal app. So we need to find out the device name of this secure drive. So there are two commands you can use. You can use diskutil space list, and we want to look through here for the one that's called the name of our drive, secure drive. You can also type in diskutil apfs list, and this gives you a lot more information, probably more than you need. So we see secure drive here. So we want this identifier. So for our secure drive, it's disk 6 s one So then we'll run this final command here. I'll paste this in and we'll modify it. So I have disk X S X. I want to change that to 6 s one so that stands for disk six slice one and slices the partition. But the whole command we have sudo diskutil. So sudo makes this run as a root user. Then we have diskutil, apfs, decrypt volume, and then our volume identifier, then space dash user space disk. So what that's saying is we want to use the password that is for the disk. So I already have this mounted on my computer. So when I inserted it, it asked me for a password, I typed that in. So I'll hit enter here. It's going to ask us for a password and this is our administrator password on our computer. So I'll type that in. Now it's going to ask us the passphrase for the disk. So this is the password we use to encrypt the drive. So I'll type that in. And now it's decrypting it. it says we can type diskutil apfs list to see the progress. So this happened very quickly because it's a small drive and you can see now file vault says no, meaning it's off. So if we open up the drive, we can see the file on it. So this works for APFS encrypted drives. I don't know if there's a simple way to do this with HFS plus extended drives, but with APFS, you can definitely unencrypt it on the fly. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.